due to oh, what is that poor connectivity hello there we go let's make sure the volume's turned down it is good afternoon <clears throat> how are we all welcome welcome so I, I thought I would pop in this afternoon and just do a quick little live Facebook um, showing you some some of the new pink fresh products that have come in in the last uh, couple of days we have had a huge amount of bits and pieces come in we had a de uh, delivery from hero arts um, hey, Lou, would you like to go and grab some of those super cute new Hero Art stamps that came in, please? The Christmas ones are great. Um, and the background ones. And we got some neon inks in from Hero Arts as well. So I'm going to have a little bit of a play with those today. Um, lots and lots of really cool bits and pieces as we are restocking our shelves on nataliemay.com.au. Um... So hello to everyone who's just tuning in. I hope you're all happy and, and you're all well. I hope everybody is um, enjoying a little bit of sunshine wherever they, wherever they are. We've got all the windows open here. It is absolutely, it is a pearl of a day here in Adelaide. We have our uh, short sleeves on instead of a jumper for a change, which is kind of nice. Um, so this is some of the stuff that came in from hero art so these are quite big background dies uh sorry stamps so we've got this one here this one is called oh, i've got no idea it's <laughs> tiny it is swirl bold prints that one's really really nice uh this one is called oh crikey i can't read that eucalyptus something we could just make the names up because i can't read those um then this one is the unicorn one. We all love a little bit of unicorn, a little bit of magical. So it's got little mushrooms in it and flowers and leaves and, and unicorns. Um, this is my personal favourite. I think this one's fantastic. This is a, this is called Forest Shapes. And then this birthday card one, which will be amazing if you watercolour this. That's really, really awesome. Uh, we also got in a few a few Christmas stamps. So this is a stamp and a die bundle. I got this one because it is probably one of the most universal stamps. I think that this image will you you could use for years and years and years. Really, really great. And it comes with the matching dies, so you don't have to cut it out. Um, this one's got these gorgeous little birds on it. So it's a little birdhouse. Um, with some little perhaps robins on there as well. So that's got the matching dies with it. This is called the Christmas Rose. This is beautiful. It's a really, really lovely design. Um, that is a stamp by itself with no die. And then we've got the baubles. Uh, the baubles are fantastic. What I love about these is they lend to all sorts of colouring. So you could easily use... Um, copics or watercolours or whatever you wanted for that. And that has the matching dye with it as well. So they are excellent. The other thing that came in is the dye that does this little baby. So this is a slimline, slimline dye. So it's an actually quite a big size dye. If you can go by my sheet in the background here it's like 20 my card is 23 by 10 so but it does that fantastic cut out and then i've just backed it with a piece of glitter paper um i think that would be the the best christmas cards for um just sending out bulk christmas cards i think that is absolutely gorgeous so they are also available as well um, now, Louise has just popped in front of me, our Action for Happiness, our Self-Care September. Right. Wednesday, the 1st of September, reads, Find time for self-care. It's not selfish, it's essential. Well, that's quite the statement. Yeah, well, self-care could be 
watching you. Yeah. So um, for those of you playing along at home, this is something that I, um, Louise and I, kind of have a bit of a glance at every day and tick off some of these boxes and go, yep, if I'm going to do anything today, it's going to be that. So the other thing that came in, we uh, got some of these layering stencils as well from Pink Fresh. So this is the layering hearts, the layering chevrons and the layering stars. And I thought today I might use the layering stars and have a bit of a play with that one. And the other thing that I got in was this guy. So this is a layering flower called Miss Your Smile. And it has a stamp set that I forgot to pick up, but there it is. You can see it on the back there. And it does this gorgeous corner. And then you can layer. So you can stamp first and then you can layer with the stencils to get that gorgeous, gorgeous gradient. Or you could purchase a stencil set by itself and it does this um, you know, four layers of colour. Absolutely gorgeous. So really, really nice. And these are an awesome size. So we're talking, let me get rid of, <clears throat> let me get rid of those ones. So we are talking, let's just crack that out of the packet. So today's, um, while I'm doing this, today's live Facebook was brought to you by the lovely Alison Bevis, who uh, personally requested this morning, rang me, to um, send me a message that she wants me to, she wants me to demonstrate how to use these. So this is for you, Bevis. Oh, and she's just commenting. Okay, so the size of these are eleven centimeters by twenty-four. So they are a juicy size stencil. Now the other thing about these, they have numbers on them. So this is stencil number one. Stencil number two is actually etched into the plastic there and then stencil number three. So you've got three stencils there that you could use by themselves or you could layer up. Right. Let's have a play. Let me get a bit of card. Here's something I almost prepared earlier. Where is it? So I'm going to use stencil number one first and I'm just going to it also has a little corner guide on it so I'm just going to actually I'm just going to do it the easy way and line it up with the corner of my paper all right washi tape all right Actually, before, oh, yeah, no, let's, I oh, know I haven't used these for ages, so let's see how we go. So I'm just going to use a bit of washi tape just to keep that in place, just on the bottom so that I don't get any movement. Um, I'm going to use these neon, these neon um, inks from Hero Arts that came in because it's time for a bit of bright in our life. So I'm going to start with yellow on the bottom. Now these are dye ink. So they're gonna blend, but I've got to move pretty quickly. And that looks amazing. And it is a super bright fluorescent yellow. So fluoro is so hot right now. And I have had these, oh shoot. Oh no, I didn't mess it up. Um, thanks. Um, I didn't swear either. I said, shoot, did you like that? Uh, I, I've had these particular inks for probably five or seven, no, oh, it maybe, maybe longer. Maybe, maybe I've had these inks for, I don't know. I've had them a damn long time anyway. So, um, I'm glad that they, Hero Arts, still stock them. Um... I've always had a huge, huge soft spot for, for, for fluorescent things. Yeah, thank you, Kath. I didn't say, sh I didn't swear. I said shoot. And I'm glad somebody else other than Louise noticed. All right. So I'm going to peel that off. And it might be a bit glary, but I tell you what, that stencil just bloody wonderful. There you go. Um, that there, I'll clean that off off camera because it's much easier to do. 
So that is the neon yellow. But will you? I will clean that off, <laughs> off camera. Thank you, Louise. I am determined to do that. All right, so this is stencil number two, and I'm going to line that up in exactly the same place, in that same corner, so that, theoretically, it's going to go smack bang in the middle. And then I'm going to use my piece of washi tape to stick that down with and I'm going to use a different blending brush so that's my yellow brush this is going to be is that a clean blending brush oh it's semi clean that'll do so this is the neon pink and I'm just going to get that color over the top now of course because I'm putting neon pink over the top of neon yellow I'm going to get something that is a little bit more orange than I am pink because I'm blending colors together so this would be amazing with distress oxides I think oops I think that this would be absolutely gorgeous because distress oxides I think would just be the perfect combination but I wanted to play with the neons I'm feeling kind of bright today and I can't read everybody's comments because if I take my eyes off this there we go so I'm just going around and around and around just tapping the ink as I go just to make sure that I'm getting a nice even coat because I do want it to be a consistent color all the way around okay Dunna. Okay, we've got a bit of glare going on, but sorry about the flicker. Let's just flick through some comments here. Oh, flat battery on a tractor. That would, yep, that would definitely make me curse as well, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a tractor and my battery was flat. <laughs> Look, you've sent Louise into a coughing fit. We're all a bit we're all a bit seasonal here at the moment. The hay fever's got us all good. Which is why I sound like a Lucky I didn't bring my tractor to work today. <laughs> Lucky you didn't bring your tractor to work today. Oh look. I think you're right on that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna pull out my neon <coughs> neon blue. So this also um, these neon colours also come in purple and green and orange as well. So um, there's a great range of colors available. And so now I'm just using the smaller, the smaller little baby. Oh, you know what would be good? Oh, hold that thought guys. lucky sorry guys I just remembered sorry 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 um, I just remembered my little baby alternate diet my little baby alternate brushes these will be perfect for this little space oh yeah look at that it's made for these little gaps that's perfect so although this is neon blue going over the top of pink it's it's going to still look fine you know what probably got it probably just quickly use the big bloody one you haven't got time to watch me do that <laughs> crikey you could all be out you could all be doing you could be making your own things making me thank you cards and telling us how awesome we are there you go that's what you could be doing while i'm doing this recharging your batteries recharging those batteries <laughs> tina that's just aimed at you babe 
How come with the inks you don't need to worry about the colours that are not beside each other on the colour wheel? All right, because I'm layering on the top of each other and I'm the colours are... Um, I, I haven't gone with colours that are opposite on the colour wheel. I've gone with colours that are going to work together. So I know that I'm not going to make brown to start with. Um, these particular inks have dried really quite quickly. So therefore the colours are not going to muddy up too much. They're going to enhance rather than muddy up. If I was using something totally wet, like a like an acrylic paint, for example, and then of course I would need to wait for the layers to dry in between, okay? But because I'm using an, um, a dye ink that layers over the top, It's fine. So I've still got that fluoro. Uh, you can see that the star is in the middle, those two other stars in the middle. So that's worked pretty well. So that's the neon blue, the neon yellow, and the neon pink. Okay. So the next thing I thought I might do is have a play with the... I got this set in as well. This is the, let's pop that aside. This is the, uh, what's it called? The, oh, it's called butterflies. Butterflies, who would have thought? <laughs> so this is a set by um, Pink Fresh, of course. So we've got the stamp, we've got the matching dye, but we've also got the layering stencil. So I actually printed off the interweb a bit of an idea on what it can look like as a finished product, all right? And let me show you up close. So this is something I quite often do with a new product. So I have a bit of an idea on where to start, how to, how to get it all to work. So here is a bit of an idea of something. I found them on Pinterest, and I do believe that they are from the Pink Fresh Designers, which is fantastic. Um, and then this was a, uh, a class that I um, am yet to do, but that's okay. So let's try and make something like this. Let's, let's have a play. Let's see how bad it can go. Well, we know how bad it can go because you've all seen me do this before. Oh, and we're frozen. Oh, no, we're not frozen. All right, so this is the five-piece layering set. Crikey. Five pieces. What have we got here with five pieces? Stencil number one looks like that. Stencil number two lines up. Oh, I see what's happening here. Like that. Stencil number three will do the next bit. Oh. Okay, that does the outer detail. Um, sorry that my camera keeps freezing. You just have to just wing it. Um, okay, stencil number four does that bit. So you can kind of see what's going on there. Totally keeps freezing. Oh, man. And then stencil number five does that tiny little bit. All right. Um, guys, just bear with me for just a moment. I'm going to see if I can flick back to Wi-Fi. Sorry about that, guys. Are you... It's fine on your side, Annalise. Oh, look, it's just me. No freezing, okay. All right, well, there we go. All right, so let's cut a piece of paper to be the same size as our stencil. Let's start with that. Um, now, I have not done this technique in a very long time. So it is going to be... Yeah, sorry, ladies. Technology and me are just not gonna be on my side today. Um, So we are talking about oh, 15 centimetres by a bit over, righty on. So I'm using my, I'm using my uh, Crafters Companion trimmer, guillotine. Um, 
Yeah, sorry guys. I think, look, technology and me are just not gonna... You'll be able to go back and watch it and you'll be able to fast forward any bits anyway. <coughs> All right, so my piece of paper is now exactly the same size as my stencil. This is gonna help with my lining up. I'm going to be die cutting this and stamping this as well. So we'll be able to have a bit of a... Um, we'll be able to go back and fix any bits anyway. All right, so lining this on. This is stencil number one, and it clearly says on here, stencil number one. So I'm gonna start with my yellow. And which one was my yellow brush? It's that one. Maybe it's my tablet that's frozen. Hey, Lou, can you just have a look on your computer and see if it's freezing on your laptop or if it's just my tablet that's having a tantrum? Neon. Tick. Whew. All right, stencil number one, done. Stencil number two. That's not number two. What have I done? I mix them all up. Here we go. Stencil number two. Is this one? I'm going to do this in neon pink. That's not frozen. It's not frozen? Oh, good. Eye. Okay. So, stencil number two. So, that's told me exactly where I need to. Go with stencil number two. So that does make it easy. So when you're purchasing something like this, especially from something like Pinkfresh or Altenew or one of those fantastic stamping companies, they do make it really easy by having the um, numbers and having it all written on your on your stencils so um, you'll be able to work out what what um, what sequence they go in okay neon blue now I don't have any other ink colors in front of me so I really should have thought this through but you know let's commit to it stencil three where's that one? Oh, I don't know that I want I really don't want those colours, so maybe I'll go a bit more darker pink in here. By layering. I could go and open an orange, but I think I'll... Just go with enhancing these colours instead. Can you see yourself on this one? Oh, maybe if I mix the two colours together. Let's pull that colour in there. Okay. Um, so hit the hit the that one hit down here. Sorry, guys. We're just trying to make technology work for us here. So I can see all your fabulous comments. Oh, you might want to mute me. All right. Sure. Thanks. Oh, look at that. So. Does it ever get dull? Does it oh. ever get, does it ever get what? Dull? Does what ever get dull, darling? Oh, that's weird. Maybe the paint they're talking about. Yeah, right. Um, okay. That was Chrissy Manix. Chrissy, what do you mean by does it ever get dull? My personality, or <coughs> that gets done. <coughs> okay, so stencil number four. I'm going to line that up, and this is when we're layering over the top. Oh, the guillotine! Oh. <laughs> okay, so I have had. I've got a big 
a big 12 by 12 guillotine, right? And I think that I have probably had that for 12, 10, 12 years, and it's only just gone blunt now. Um, and with that particular guillotine, I can take the blade off and go and get it. I was going to say, you could probably do it sharpen it on a knife sharpener. Yeah, yeah, you, you can get them sharpened. Um, and that's me using it a lot, um, especially for kits and classes and stuff like that. You know, 10, 12 years and it's only just gone dull. This little baby one that I'm using here, the little crafter's companion one, um, I find that it is perfectly fine. I've had mine for 18 months and it's still lovely and sharp. I am a huge fan of that little, um, that little guillotine. I use it all of the time. It's my go-to. Um, so yeah, look, it is, it's a personal preference thing. Um, I use a, I, I do too much cutting for it to be, for me to use a um, paper trimmer, like a, um, I just realised I forgot the body of that butterfly. Um, I use, I do too much cutting to, to use something like a Fiskars trimmer. So for me, I need a guillotine. Um, but it's, it, of course, is personal preference and, and it's also budget related. The other thing that I like about a guillotine is that I don't have to wait for a replacement blade to come back in stock or go down to my local craft shop and purchase one or whatever it might be. This is blowing my mind. Okay, this one here is number... Stencil number five, what bit's this gonna do? Oh, it's gonna add bits on here. Okay, so I better do those in a different color. Let's go with pink. Have I lined them up correctly? Yes. So now they're kind of purple. So three inks. Oh. I'm a bit bloody thrilled with myself right now, to be honest. This is where things will go bad, though. This is where I've got to stamp over the top of it. All right. Popping those off to the side. Popping these off to the side. I'll clean these off shortly. I won't be putting them in a dishwasher, but somebody, uh, the lovely Janine, today mentioned in class about how she, because I've taught a class already today, how she cleans her stencils. And she cleans her stencils, stencils by popping them in nappy sand. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm going to use my stamp press. And I've got here the matching stamp that goes with this. And I'm going to endeavour to line it up. You might hear me swear this time, ladies. All right, so first thing I want to do is I need to put my, secure my um, paper with my magnet and then I'm going to place this on here and try and line up. Oh, I might have got it right the first time. How is it? I have to stand up to do this. I can't see on top of it. Sorry about the <coughs> heavy breathing, but I'm right on top. It's a bit creepy, wasn't it? Is that close enough? No, oh, it kind of needs to go down this way just a just a just a bee's whisker. Alright. Sorry, a little little boob nudge. Then I can put that down. Don't you move, don't you move, don't you move. Oh, you son of a gun. It did move because I haven't used this before. Oh, bugger. Okay, because I haven't used it before, I need to perhaps condition my stamp a bit by using it a couple of times and then it won't be so sticky. Oh, that's my bad. I should have known better. All right, let's see how this baby goes. 
pop that there. See, not even I can, then not even I can nail it first time. All right. Bless. Let's have another go, guys. Sorry about that. Body is on layer stencil number layer number four. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Thank you. I haven't done the body. No. Number four's got the body. All right, hang on. Thank you for pointing that out. Lisa. Lisa. Found it. What I do without you guys. Good thing I messed that up. Dunna. Problem solved. This problem, on the other hand, looks pretty cool though. Lou's not going to have a sticky tomorrow, Lynn. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm not interested in that. What are you on about? There's something I I know, how good does it look? Okay, so this time when I lift it up, right. So now that I've got that done properly, I'm going to re ink my stamp. And I'm using a black archival ink so that it goes over the top and lovely and crisp. Sorry about the, the reflection that you get there. It does look like a stained glass. Nailed it. Ish. Nailed it enough. It looks good on camera. I missed a little bit in this guy here, but you know what? It's fine. All right, so now I'm going to cut out the wings with my matching cutting die that comes with it. <laughs> it's like, sale of the century. <laughs> I just gave everybody a seizure though. My hand's moving that quickly on the screen. Okay, so who here, put your hand up if you watched a Jennifer Maguire video this week. I need to introduce Louise to Jennifer Maguire. She doesn't know who I'm talking about. Jennifer Maguire is a goddess of all things paper. And she, over the last week or so, has spoken about cutting plates for your... Oh, it get a bit windy in here, did it? Sorry, we've got the windows open and there's paperwork going in all directions. Anyway, so Jennifer Maguire this week was talking about um, talking about cutting plates on your, your cutting machines and how everything's bowing and moving around, um, how to stop your paper your plates from bowing, etc. So what she also talked about was the double sided cutting plates from the Gemini for the Gemini machine. Now, I have a Gemini machine and I have the green cutting plates. So I have done exactly what Jennifer suggested because what Jennifer says goes. And I have taped mine to my clear plates and I have, and I'm going to do it the Jennifer way and it is stopping my plates being bowed with my Gemini. I know, who would have thought? So I'm just gonna whack that through there. Oh, I like butter, baby. I don't know why, I don't know why. I just know that it works. Don't question, you just don't question these things. But hey, but that's okay. So consequently, we do have the green plates in stock.
Um, yeah, they do. They they're not buying. They, oh yeah, she did show you how to get your own personal ones back to um, flat. Um, wow. Check it out. Check it out. So I've got these green ones in stock, and if you just do a search online for Gemini cutting plates, it'll happen. And I have more coming in. I think Trevor's picking those up on his way home from work today. All right, so where's that previous stencil bit of cardstock I put in a safe place before? Yeah, a tape on the butterfly, I, think. I do have a bit of tape on the butterfly. Thank you. I can't get it off. Yep, here we go. All right, so I'm loving that. Oh, here we go. The boys are back with the truck. So let's turn this into a card. So I'm going to get my trimmer again. Hey, Lou, do you want to shut the window a little bit, please, so I don't get to hear the truck reversing down into our driveway? Um, would that technique work for the big shot? Um, I've got no idea, sweetheart. I really can't help you with that. I only know how this has worked for the machine that I am working on at the moment. Um, and my thoughts are... Yeah, just to give it a whirl. But yes, I know that the plates that I'm using are only for the uh, for the Gemini machine, which is the electronic cutting machine. But I and I can't tell you how they would work with the other machines um, because, and I'm not even going to try and fib my way through that because that's not how I work. I haven't tried it, so I'm not going to recommend it. But I recommend at least going back and watching her video. Um, hey, Lou, could you please grab me a piece of black cardstock off the shelf, please? Pretty please, with sugar on top. And I'm going to ask her for a pen. Oh, no, hang on. Mm, I need a black pen. One you used earlier with all the... Oh, look, I put things away. I put things away so they haven't gone back, come back. I'm oh, sorry, I found something that'll work. Right, what I want to do is I'm going to mount this on a piece of plain black cardstock um, mm. with the double-sided tape that I don't have next to me either. Here, here. Oh, that's foam tape. Oh, well, not, it's, not, nice. it's not the same, but that's okay. Mm. So what I'm going to do is while Lou is grabbing me some foam, uh, some just normal double-sided tape. I'm just gonna do a black outline. The reason being, I've got black in my stamping. Um, no, just up on my desk at eye level in one of those, in the little um, deflecto caddy. Stop looking. Why do we have all the sizes open? Lou wants to know why I have all the sizes of foam tape open. Why? Look, we use them all. I don't see what your problem is. <laughs> There's a need for different sizes all the time. <laughs> Thank you. Michelle, um, that's, that's accurate. <laughs> Michelle's just commented and, and said, my most used words are, hey, Lou. And what's your point? And Where are you? Glues. You need different glues. And well, different glues. Apparently. Yeah. I, oh, I have like all the different glues open. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this a little black border all the way around. About that big. Now, because my paper trimmer that I have in front of me does not do 12 inch paper, I tend to do this. This is my go to. And then I will trim it back. Hey? I know, there's so many people that go, it's not straight, and they have little seizures, but that's okay. It doesn't matter that it's not straight because it's handmade. Oh, and that doesn't fit. Hang on. Bam. <laughs> Susan. Susan, Susan, you are correct. <laughs> You, Susan has just commented and says, um, Louise, would you like to read out, read out that phrase that Susan said? <laughs> Apparently not. Lou just 
doesn't quite understand crafting. Lou does not quite understand crafting, but she's getting much, much, much better at understanding crafting. For the same reason that she cannot understand why I need a roll of foam tape that is 12 inches wide. But that's okay. This is my favourite, favourite, favouritest roll of Altenew foam tape. But I can pack. She can pack. Who here? Put your hands up if you have received a fabulously packaged delivery from Natalie May Scrapbooking. Put your hands up, girls. I know there's a lot going on here with colour, but you know what? We're just going to go with it. Am I going to do that? Come on, where's all your hands up in the air for that? Anyway, so Louise is the one who does all of your packing. I do some. I do the magic. Louise makes the packaging happen. So we hope that you all love your, your packaged delivery from us. We pride ourselves in that. <coughs> I could go that way. I think I'll do that. Right, so I'm going to foam tape that guy. Oh, look, you're all putting your hands up. There you go. Hey, look, even, and you love your chocolate. Oh, yeah, there was a bit of a conspiracy about that earlier. This is, well, yeah, someone didn't, some, some lovely lady didn't like her chocolate. Anyway, um, that's a discussion for later. The, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, back before I had my online store and I was just a little just a little Natalie May who did little bits and pieces on the side. I used to, if I was posting something out to a customer, everything always got um, wrapped in dress patterns originally. And I haven't done anything in a dress pattern for a while. We've run out of dress patterns. Okay, so here we go. I've got that foam tape to give it dimension. And get, by adding foam tape, it creates that, that shadow underneath, okay? Um, the last thing I want to do is I need to stamp a sentiment for this particular stamp. So if we have a look at the sentiments in this set, uh, without change, there would be no butterflies. Give yourself time. The real growth is being more of yourself. Oh, I like that. Embrace this moment. I like that real growth one. Right, I would need a stamp block. I don't have a stamp block, so I'm going to go with... Why don't I have a stamp block? Oh, no, here I do. <coughs> oh, and for those of you who are patiently waiting for the Buds of May stamp to come back in stock... We uh, have them on order and hoping that they won't be too long, okay? So, um, so just, yeah, be a little bit patient. And if you want that Buds of May stamp to be popped aside for you, we would be more than happy to give you a call. You just need to flick us an email and let us know and we will make that magic happen for you. So what I've done is I've just stamped that little title on there, and now I'm going to grab my trimmer that I've just strewn across the table. Cut that off. Turn it into a little banner. So we turn it into a little banner. The way that I do it, is I put a cut up there and then I take, I go from corner to corner. Oh, I've got the shakes. Maybe I need that three o'clock cup of tea. All right, so there's my, my little cute banner. <laughs> Linda got her, her new scissors cut this morning. <laughs> yeah, hey, there you go. If you jump over to the Natalie May scrapbooking crafting community, the lovely Linda has received her order and is having a cup of coffee in her new scissors coffee cup. How cool is that? Thank you for sharing that photo, Linda. I think that is just fantastic. <laughs> Excellent. Us crafters have got to stick together. All 
All right, so I've just done a little bit of a border around my sentiment. Sorry if it doesn't show up on camera. The way I hold my pen is just, you know, just talent right there, babe. Uh, and then I'm gonna foam tape this on. And I'm gonna get out of your hair before my voice disappears. <clears throat> oh, I need that foam tape again. The good thing about this roll of foam tape as well is that you can find it on your desk. <laughs> because if you lose a roll of foam tape this big on your desk, you need a bigger desk. All right. And stick. Stick. All right, we have, hello Shezza, um, okay, we have a card that has been made in about half an hour, all right, and I've used three coloured inks, so for those of you just tuning in, we have used the Neon Arts, sorry, Hero Arts Neon Dye Inks in Neon Yellow, Neon Pink and Neon Blue. And they are just amazing. So this is what the colours look like if you're ready for a quick swipe. Neon yellow. Neon pink. And neon blue. So three awesome colours. Um, and we use the layering stencil from uh, the layering slimline stencil from Pink Fresh in the background. So it comes in a few different colours. We have got it in pink, sorry, pink. We've got it in hearts, we've got it in stars, and we've got it in chevrons, the layering background. And then I have used the butterflies, butterflies stamp set from Pink Fresh. And you can also get with that set a, there's also a matching die and a matching layering stencil. So the layering stencil is how we got those colours on in the background. And considering that we only used three colours, how good does that look layered up? So it looks like I've used a purple, it looks like I've used a green, looks like I've used an orange or a couple of different shades of orange. <coughs> Um, I used the stamp press to stamp the image over the top and also used my Gemini machine to cut out the, cut out the die. Kicking goals. Oh, gosh, look at those colours. How great are they? Fabulous. All right, guys, so that's it from me. I hope I've made you smile this afternoon and cheered up your day a little bit. Um... I hope you're all enjoying yourselves wherever you are in the world and go and make yourself a cup of tea or have a gin and tonic or a glass of wine or whatever floats your boat. And don't forget, what's today? Find time for self-care. It's not selfish, it's essential. Can you read that, Lou? Am I holding it? Yep, yeah, there you go. So that's the 1st of September's self-care statement tomorrow's is notice the things you do well however small we'll post that tomorrow all right guys look after yourself wash your hands kiss your kids oh i made chrissy's baby smile oh look that's so no that wasn't a fart it was a smile all right guys look after yourself and i'll chat to you soon bye